Daily English Speaking Practice Part Three. Expressing Preferences. It's raining so hard today. Yeah, so gloomy, but I like it. Which one do you prefer, sunny or rainy? I prefer sunny. I like going out, enjoy the sun. I'd rather be inside all day and listen to the raindrops. Yeah, actually, it's not that bad with a cup of coffee and reading a book. Agree. Or taking a nap would be best. <laughs> I will cook some noodles. Do you want some? Yes, please. Which flavor do you prefer, shrimp or chicken? Chicken, please. Eating noodles on a rainy day is so satisfying. Visiting. Lisa, what are you doing? We will leave soon. I'm looking at places to go first on our sightseeing trip, but there are so many. Let me see. Hmm, I don't know about other places, but we definitely have to go to the beach in the morning. Yeah, that one can't be missed. It would be to relax under the sun. Is there any interesting place around the hotel? Yes, there is a marine museum close by. We can visit after going to the beach. It sounds interesting. I would love to go there. Okay, how about the afternoon? Where should we go? There is a huge special local market. We can visit it. Great. We can have dinner there, then go around in the evening. There will be a fun fair there, so we can go and play in the evening. Wow, that sounds like a great way to end up a day. Security checkpoint in the airport. Sorry, ma'am. Please take off your watch and all your belongings in your pocket out. Okay, I did it. Please go through the gate again. Are you sure there is nothing in your pocket, ma'am? Yes, I took everything out. Okay, please stand here and raise your hand so that I can check. Turn around, please. Ah, okay. It's the metal on your jeans. You can leave now. Thank you. Future plan. What are you thinking about, John? Uh, I'm just thinking about the future. Do you have any future plans? After graduation, I will work in a company first to gain some more experience, and then, and then develop a career path further or run a small business. How about you? I will study for higher education. Really? Why don't you have a job first to gain more experience before studying for a master's degree? I'm afraid I won't be able to study anything once I have a job. Okay. I hope we can fulfill our dreams. Describe. Excuse me, do you see a three-year-old girl around here? There are lots of kids here, you know. Did she get lost? Yes. Oh my. Nina, where are you? <laughs> Calm down. What does she look like? She is wearing a yellow skirt, a red hat, and red shoes. How about her hair? Is it long or short? She has two hair buns today. Okay. Have you informed the security officers? No, I haven't. I was panicked. I couldn't think straight. Okay. Let's go to inform them. Lunar New Year.
Is the Lunar New Year coming? Yes, it comes in two weeks. What is special about this event? It's an event for a family reunion. What do you usually do in the Lunar New Year? We often visit relatives and friends, giving us best wishes and lucky money. What is the special food in the Lunar New Year in your family? We usually eat sticky rice cake. How about decoration? Do you decorate the house for the Lunar New Year? Yes, we do. We often decorate the house with peach flowers and a red theme. Accepted request. Mom, may I go out with my friends today? Okay, but you go out for what? It's Anna's birthday today. She has a birthday party tonight. Where is the party? It's at her house. Do you need me to drive you there? No, her house is not so far away. I will walk there with Mary. Okay, call me when the party is over and I will take you home. I can walk with Mary though. It will be late. Yes, Mom. Worrying. What's wrong, Alice? You don't look okay. Ugh, nothing much. I just worried about the final exams. Come on, just focus on studying. Worrying can solve no problem. I know, but I cannot stop thinking about if I get a bad result. Why do you keep thinking about the negative thing? Now just focus on learning, okay? Okay, I need to train my mind though. I know it's difficult to not worry, but you also have to learn how to control your emotion. In the library. Hi, I want to return the books. Okay, I saw you are still keeping two books, don't you? Yes, I will return it before the deadline. Okay, is there anything else I can help with? I want to borrow some books about finance. Where can I find that type of book? They're on the third floor, in the right section. How about law books? They're on the fifth floor. Okay. Thanks a lot. You are welcome. <music> Greetings. Hello, I'm James. How do you do? How do you do? Hello, I'm Laura. Are you the new flatmate? Yes, I am. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. Are you a freshman? Yes, I am. How about you? I'm in my third year. How many people are there in our flat? There are four other people. Two boys and two girls. Where are they now? Let me say hi to them. They have classes and will come back later today. Ah, okay. You must have been tired. Let me take you to your room. Okay, thank you very much. Responsibility What are you doing? Why is it so messy? I'm preparing documents for the meeting tomorrow. Those many documents? I have responsibility for collecting everyone's reports and analyzing them, so... Wow, sounds like a leader's job. <laughs> Not yet, but I hope maybe one day I can be a leader. Okay, it's kind of late. Be quick and don't sleep too late. Uh, thanks a lot. Quarantine Activities Hey, Mom! Huh? 
Morning, sweetie. Why do you wake up so early? I can't sleep much, Mommy. Maybe because I took a nap after lunch for so long. I think you shouldn't drink coffee anymore. It makes you not able to sleep much. It's not good for your health as well. I know, Mommy. But, you know, I have nothing to do in the quarantine time except reading books. There are some books which I have read twice, even three times. When reading a book, I like drinking coffee. Come on, sweetie. You can try some enjoyable activities like doing exercise, gardening, or learning new things. Learning new things, huh? It sounds so exciting. I will look up some tutorial videos on the internet. Staying at home all day is so boring, isn't it, Mom? I want to go to the park and go shopping to buy new clothes. Not at all. Listen, sweetie. In quarantine time, you have time for yourself. No classes, no homework, and no assignments. You should look into its benefits. Do you want to learn to cook? When I finish my online shift, I can teach you. That's a great idea, but do you think there is anything else that I can do? Hmm, let me see. You should do exercise, Lily. Working out not only helps you to have a fit body, but also a healthy mind. Doing exercise is so boring. I want to join the dancing class, but, you know, they closed everything. You can try an online one. I know some websites. I will help you to look for it when I complete painting this wall. Why must you paint it? I remember it was just painted at the beginning of this year. I don't like blue anymore. Winter is coming. I think the yellow color is more trendy. But the biggest reason is that I have too much free time. <laughs> okay, let me help you, Daddy. Okay. By the way, I fixed your bicycle. When the lockdown time is over, you can ride it around the lake. Perfect! Thank you, Daddy! Do you want to have breakfast now? Can I have some milk now, Mommy? Sure. I will make you an omelet, egg, and some slices of bread. Thank you, Mom! Have you finished your picture yet? You mean the oil paint, yes? Yep, that's it. I'm done with it. I think I will buy a new one next week, but I haven't chosen it yet. Let's buy a flower picture. Then you may hang it in the kitchen. Really? Cool! Hey, Lily! Do you want to do gardening with me? Gardening? Yes! I am planting some flowers in our garden. I will water them every day. Then, when they bloom, I will give them to Jane. Who is Jane, Tom? It's my crush! She is living on the next street. Aw, you're so sweet! Let me help you. What do I have to do now? I am watering them. Then you can weed. Okay, I see. But you know, we are locked down. How can you give them to Jane? When the COVID is gone, or at least I can send her some pictures of them. Do you have any plans for today, Lily? Nah, not yet. I may continue reading my book. You 
are so bored. Why don't you try something new? I know many things to do. I love quarantine time so much. Nah, do you have any suggestions, my little boy? I started writing my diary on the internet. My blog has 10 followers already. <gasps> nice try. I will become famous one day. I have my belief. But I don't want to publicize my daily activities to strangers, Tommy. So, you can write in your notebook. But you will not be able to be an idol like me. <laughs> okay, I know. Did you see Plum? <gasps> oh, God! I'm so busy, so I forgot! Can you help me, Lily? Okay, fine. Dear Diary, Today is the 30th day of quarantine. I have found many new things to do. On the first days, I just read books. I love reading, but there are some books I read more than twice. When I read the book, I like enjoying some coffee, but it's not good for my health. I have tried to help mom to do some household chores. My mom is really happy with my help. I swept my floor and folded all the clothes. Because of them, I understand why my mom is always busy, even though she is just at home as a housewife. Normally, I walk plum in the park, but now, ugh, you know, right, diary? Today, Tommy asked me to water his flowers because he's busy with his new Rubik. I was wondering if his flowers could bloom. His love for Jane will disappear soon. Poor them! One hour ago, I called James to ask what he does every day because I miss him so much. I want to meet my friends. Really, the first thing I will do after quarantine time is hanging out with them all day. My mom told me to learn new things, but I haven't known what I should do. I must choose between learning an online course about leadership and an online yoga class. I like the leadership course because I can receive a certificate after finishing it. But yoga class is cool as well. Do you think I should be part of both of them? <laughs> I have so much time right now. Tommy bought a new Rubik, but I will not play with him. No way! Daddy is calling me. I must finish now. Bye, my mate. At a stationery shop. Every child is excited when the new school year comes because of buying new stationery. Let's watch this video and see what are the essentials for the new school year. Ah, oh, it's 8 o'clock. Let's switch to Channel 3 to watch our favorite TV show. Yeah, let me open it. Everyone, we want to eat some apples and oranges while watching TV. We would love to. Thank you, Mommy. Okay, wait for me some minutes. I'll take it out right now. So, Timmy and Jesse, how was your day? Everything is okay, Dad. I and Timmy stay at home and help Mom do housework in the morning. Then, in the afternoon, I do my homework and Timmy goes out to play with his friends. Have you done it? Are there any difficult exercises with you? I've solved all of them. They are too easy for me. Good job, Jesse. How about you, Timmy? A bad day to me, Daddy! Oh no, Timmy. What happened? 
This afternoon, I came to Mike's house to play with my friends. We played some games and ate cookies. Everything was okay until Mike showed his new pencil. The pencil had a Spider-Man print on it, and it was so cool. But he did not let anyone try using it. He is a selfish boy, and I hate him. I came home immediately and watched TV. Hmm, Timmy, do you want a new pencil? You are going to be a student like your sister. Yes, Dad! I'd love a Spider-Man pencil, like Mike! Okay. I will take you and Jesse to the stationery shop to buy new necessary items for you tomorrow. Yay! Thank you, Dad! Now let's continue watching the game show on TV and eat fruit. <laughs> Hello! My name is Jack and I am a staff of Codex Stationery Store. What can I help you, please? Hi. I want to buy some new stationery for my children. Could you tell me where I can buy them? Please go straight then turn left. You will see the items you need there. Thank you, Jack. Spider-Man pencil first! Don't worry, Timmy. We will find it for you, brother. Jesse, what items will we need to buy for you? I need one new ink pen, some pens, some notebooks, a ruler, and a new calculator. Calculator? Have your teacher allowed you to use it? Yes, Dad! We will need a calculator next year. Could you buy me the latest version of Casio? Of course, Jesse. And Timmy, I think you need a pencil, eraser, pencil sharpener, and some notebooks. Spider-Man pencil, please! Dad, I also need a flashcard to study new words. Okay, Timmy. Oh, I forgot! We need a new box of watercolor. We've used up the old one at home. Okay, I will take two sets for each of you. Yay! Thank you, Dad! Timmy, have you seen the spider pencil as you want? Let me ask the saleswoman here for it. Excuse me? Hello, my name is Sally. What can I help you with? I need the pencil model which prints Spider-Man on it. Is this item still available? Have you found it in that pencil counter over there? Yes, I have looked for it carefully, but I can't see it. Hmm, okay. Let me check if it's still in stock or not. Fortunately, this type of pen is still has in the storage room. Please wait a few minutes. I will bring it out soon. Are you looking for this pen, right? Timmy? Is it? Yes, exactly! Thank you so much! You are welcome, boy. Timmy, Jesse, have you taken everything you need? Yes, we have done! 
Okay, sorry. I would like to pay for them, please. Let me see. Hmm. They cost $200 in totally. Do you want to pay in cash or by card? In cash. Your money here, please. Okay, here is your bill. Thank you for purchasing in our store. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Daddy, I'm so hungry now. Can we eat something before going home? Yes, I'm hungry too. Okay, what do you want to eat? Fried chicken, please. Okay, let's eat chicken. Yay! Awesome! Please, give me the menu. Here you are. Please order the dish you want. Jenny, what do you want to eat? I'd like chicken wings and french fries. How about you, Timmy? I want a hamburger and chicken nuggets. Ah, uh, my restaurant is providing some special combo for you. Only $200 for three chicken wings, two hamburgers, and a beverage. Do you want to use this? Hmm. Do you have chicken strips in this combo? No, we are sorry. So, I don't use the combo. I would like to order a chicken wing, french fries, a hamburger, chicken nuggets, and chicken strips. And three coke, please. Okay, please wait for me some minutes to prepare the dishes for you. Jesse, how do you think of my new pencil? It's so cool, okay? <laughs> Dad, I promise that I will keep this pencil always new like this. Good, Timmy. Let's use this pencil and get high marks in your school. I always believe in you, my smart boy. Thank you, Daddy. And you, Jesse? I hope you will help your brother study and integrate with new friends at primary school. Yes, Daddy. I will try my best. Your dishes are here. Please, enjoy your meal. Thank you. Dad, do you want to try this hamburger? It is so great! No, I don't like hamburgers. By the way, who wants to eat something more? No, Dad! It's enough! Uh, I think we should order a set for Mother at home. She loves chicken fried so much! Oh, I forgot. Thank you, Jesse. I will order chicken wings and hamburgers for your mom. Yes, Dad! Let's eat quickly to go home! I think Mom is hungry now! No, Timmy. You should not eat too fast. It will hurt your stomach ache. Don't worry, because we have cookies and fruits in the refrigerator for Mom. Keep eating. I will go there to order a set for Mom. Yes, Dad! Yes, Dad! School Life Mr. David, do you also come here to eat hamburgers? Right, this place is close to my school and it's also famous for its delicious dishes. Exactly, it's my favorite fast food restaurant. Sit here with me, please. Okay. How's it going? You look quite happy. 
Yeah, I'm so happy with what I'm doing right now. You know, I always dreamed of being a teacher. That's good. How about you? You look so stressed. Right? I'm so stressed. Is it because of the workload? If so, me too. Um, well, it's nearly the end of the school year, so there are a lot of things that we need to summarize and evaluate. Grading, assessing students, and summarizing scores. I'm exhausted just thinking about it. Each career has difficulties. Um, and now I also have one more pressure. What is that? My school has some students who are very naughty, quarrelsome, even they fight each other. That's so bad. We also pay close attention to them. Despite repeated warnings, nothing has changed. I'm having a headache thinking of a suitable solution. What do you want? I want to settle things smoothly without using too much punishment. I don't want my students to suffer. I understand what you mean. Are you going to use traditional punishment? What does it mean? Detentions or suspensions? Oh, I think no. That's right, those punishments don't work. What should I do now? I have an idea. Now we have to understand the psychology of children. They are not afraid of those punishments. So let's apply punishment to their adolescent psyche. Wow. Come here, I will tell you. That's a good idea, Miss Hannah. Try it. Hey! Watch where you're going, you fool! Are you blind? No, you are! Don't you know who I am? I don't care who you are! Shut up and get away! What? Are you crazy? What do you want? Do you want to fight? Yeah? Are you scared? Hey! What are you doing here? Why is it so crowded here? Tell me. He dares to provoke me. I didn't do anything about it. He bumped into me. I want to bump into you? Are you crazy? Come on, it's too noisy. Let's be quiet. So what are others doing here? Why are they arguing that you guys didn't tell the teacher but stood to watch like this? Sorry, teacher. Now, others come to class. It's not the break. Yes. And two of you, follow me. Have you realized your mistake yet? I didn't do anything wrong! So now you want to be punished or go home without going to school anymore? Mr. David... This is not the first time I've talked to you about this problem. School is not the place for you to fight. But that was all his fault. He started it. Now, the two of you are the problem. Why can you fight and use appropriate words like that at school? That is enough. Now, I will give you a chance. Stand in front of the whole school, hold hands, and say you love each other. I'm not doing, I'm not crazy! Right? Me either! If you don't do that, you can come back home now. Why do you have to do such a crazy thing? I'd rather be punished by laboring! I don't need your labor. No! Why? It is so easy to do. But I'm so embarrassed! Why are you embarrassed? Because I have to do it in front of the whole school? You guys fight in front of the whole school like that? Just do it. That's good. So, everyone here is a lesson for you.
If the fighting continues, I will take other measures. Do you understand? Yes. yes. So you can come back to your class now. Thank you for coming here. Please sit down. Yes, thank you, Mr. David. I was very worried about Henry and Robert being so naughty at school. I have punished them many times. Sorry, teacher. I gave him a lot of advice, but it didn't help. They're in puberty. They're so naughty that we can't advise them. No. We also want to cooperate with the school to educate them, but their personalities are very unruly. I know that. So the last time I punished them to stand in front of the whole school and tell them that they like each other. I had heard that. Thank you for coming up with such a great solution. That's right. No need for some awful measures, but extremely effective. I hope this measure will work in the long run. What do you think? Sorry for the fight. We will never do that again. I hope I won't have to deal with the two of you fighting again. You're so sorry, Mr. David. Okay, I believe in you. Miss Hannah, do you have time now? Yes, I have finished my work. Great, do you want to have a cup of coffee? Sure. Okay, so see you at the coffee shop in the library. Okay, Mr. David. You look so happy. Is there anything new? Yes, very happy news. What is that? I have solved the problem that I told you before. Is it about the fight between students in your school? Exactly. Everything is fine now. That's great. Thanks to you. You have suggested me an effective method. So, we helped you. I'm glad I could help you with the dilemma. Right. Thanks to it, I was able to solve this difficult problem. Thank you. Nothing. I still use this method to manage my students. You're so smart and sophisticated. I'm just relying on juvenile mentality. How can you know that? Actually, this is normal child psychology. When I went to school, I was also afraid to do something embarrassing in front of a crowd. I understand that and always use it this way with my students. Indeed, it is gentle but very effective. Maybe it's because I'm a woman that I understand kids a little better than you do. Maybe. Anyways, thank you very much. Never mind. I will invite you to dinner. I'm very pleased. Express King Rose, are you okay? You seem to be different today. I'm okay, Marin. You know you can share with me anything, right? I know, I'm just having a migraine headache. Really? You didn't have it for a long time, right? Yes, I think I'm too stressed. What happened, Rose? I feel overwhelmed at work. Really? Are you always busy like this? Yeah, most of the time. Why don't you talk to your boss about it? Boss only cares about the result, you know. Hmm, but at least you should let him know work is overwhelming, so he may assign someone to help you. Yeah, maybe I should mention it to him. Oh, thanks for caring about me. Not at all. How to say no. Lucy, why do you look so nervous? I'm not nervous. So what's wrong? Peter asked me out for dinner. 
What did you say? I said I will answer him later today. So, what are you worried about? No, just... I don't want to have dinner with him, but I don't know how to tell him. Just say you're busy or else. But he will invite me next time. So, you have to learn how to say no. But will he be sad if I say no? You're thinking too much. If you don't like him, it's better to be clear with him in the beginning. You're right. I will tell him. You're lucky. Are you going somewhere tomorrow, Beth? Yes, I will go on a trip with my colleagues. Nice. Where will you go to? We will go to a camping site in the countryside. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Have you seen the weather forecast? Not yet. Could you help me check it? Okay, let me see. It's sunny tomorrow. You're lucky. Thanks, Amelia. How many days will you go? Only two days. Okay, enjoy your trip. Thank you. In the museum. Wow, look at this tomb, that's incredible. You seem to like the museum a lot. Yes, I do. I really like history, especially Egyptian things like these. How often do you go to a museum? Like, once every few months. I saw you write something in your notebook. What's that? Nothing much. I was just taking notes about the things I like. These relics look amazing. Is it allowed to take photo here? It's not allowed. Uh, okay. Let's go to the next room then. Feeling doubt. Lily, I think Mama bought pizza today. She asked me if which flavor tastes good yesterday. I doubt it. I saw some prepared meat in the fridge. Really? So why did she ask me that? I have no idea. You can ask her later. Ugh, I'm craving pizza. Has she come home yet? No, she said she would go out to buy something. Maybe she went to buy a pizza. Come on, Jolie. You are addicted to pizza. Let's see. I think she goes buy it for real. Okay, let's see. I think she went out to buy some missing ingredients. Family Hi, Hannah. Hi, Katie. What have you been up to? Not much. I just got back from a vacation. Oh, really? Where did you go? I went to visit my parents in Florida. How are your parents? They are all good. Thanks for asking. How long did you stay with them? I stayed there for a week. Did you enjoy the time there? Yes, I do. My brother's families were there too, so we had a lot of fun. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Where's that pretty girl? Do you know how to ask questions in English? Let's watch David's funny situations and learn how to ask questions. Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing some household chores. Why are you home today? Come on, today is Sunday. I also have some days off, Lisa. Yeah, I think you are a workaholic and you work all week. No way. Your view is so awesome. It's better than mine. I think it's the same. We are in the same building and also have a garden view. But on your floor you have a larger view. Yeah, I agree. 
Look, that's Tom's building, right? Yeah, he's cooking, I guess. Let me call him. Hey, Tom! Hey! He doesn't pay attention to me. Try to wave your hands and call his name. Hey, Tom, look at me! Party! Why do you stop? I don't think he sees you. Hey, Lisa. Do you know who is that girl? She was beautiful as an angel sent down from heaven. Who? Over there. When I waved my hand with Tom, she also waved her hand with me. Really? I've never seen her before. Where is that pretty girl? I want to get to know her. What can I do? You can count to see which her floor is. Then you can come to say hi to her there. That's a great idea. Hi. Hi. How can I help you? Excuse me, I'm looking for a girl? Who is that girl? I don't know her name. I just saw her arranging flowers. I don't have flowers. I don't want to buy them, by the way. I have a small garden on my balcony. We have enough flowers. No, no. I mean, I want to ask, is this her apartment? Who are you looking for? I saw her on the balcony of this house. My apartment is over there, in the A building. Yeah, so you saw me from your apartment, right? No, that is a pretty girl. I counted the floor, and she is on this floor. I think she is living in your apartment. Why do you count the floor? I'm on my floor. Yeah, I know. I mean... So, who are you looking for? I've never seen you before. I just wonder if there is any pretty girl living here? Ah, a pretty girl. You should tell me at the beginning. So she is living here, right? Can I meet her, please? I just want to say hi to her. Sure, she is inside. Baby, there is one man who wants to say hi to you. What's up? I am baking our cakes. I'm super busy now. Hi, are you looking for me? This is my pretty girl. Hi, you are so beautiful. But I'm afraid that you are not the one I'm looking for. Thank you. There are only two of us in this apartment, so I think you got a mistake. I think so. So sorry for wasting your time. Hi. How can I help you? Hi, I'm looking for a pretty girl. Maybe I just saw her arranging flowers on the balcony of your house? Is she living here? Ah, a pretty girl. We have a pretty girl living here. Thank God, I found her! She is super beautiful, right? Yeah, she is as pretty as an angel. She is. If you know her, she has an awesome voice. She always sings for me before my sleeping time. Really? Does she have any other talents? Yeah, she can cook. I love all of her dishes. So does my dad. Which is her best dish? I can't tell you. Why? Because everything is perfect. I can't even choose. Wow. I want to say hi to her. Can I meet her? Or if possible, can you give me her number, please? Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. I need to ask my parents. Mommy! Daddy! There is a man who wants to ask for mom's number? What? Who is that? Wait a minute. She's your mom? Yeah, she is! Sorry, I forgot to tell you about that. Oh my god. What's up, sweetie? Who are you? Hey, do I know you? I've never seen you before. Why do you need my number? Are you a scammer? 
Oh, you are not her. What do you mean? Who is her? So sorry, I think I got the wrong person. Hey! Did you get her number? Oh, you look so depressed. Did she refuse to give you her number? Kind of. I even can't find her. What? She was not at home, or...? Obviously, that's her floor. But I tried to knock on the door of all the apartments there. She wasn't there. I asked everyone also. No one knows her. I'm disappointed. <laughs> hmm. That's insane. She must be there. Did you count the number of the floor correctly? Yeah. Which floor? The 15th floor. <laughs> oh, the garage is not numbered, so you just need to go to the 14th floor. God, I forgot it all. You should find her again if you really want to know her. Sure, I will go immediately. Wait, wait, look at you. What's wrong with me? You need to change your clothes. Yeah? You need to score points at the first meeting. Okay, I will come home to change clothes. Should I bring a bouquet? That's a great idea. I'm sure she must be a big fan of flowers. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, is this your room? Yeah, obviously. Oh, I don't know that. Yeah, I was going to invite you to my new apartment tomorrow. I will have a small party. You know, housewarming party. Yeah, that's fine. Lisa and I will come. I will ask Lisa directly. Please, keep it in secret. Sure. By the way, is there a pretty girl on this floor? Pretty girl? Yeah, I hope I can find her. I just saw her from Lisa's apartment. I don't think there is anyone like that. All of my neighbors are elderly. That's insane! I also asked everyone on the 15th floor, but she isn't there. Who comes, honey? This is David, my friend who lives in the opposite building. I thought I told you. You? Yeah, I remember. David, this is Mia, my girlfriend. Hi, David, I'm Mia. Nice to meet you. Tom often tells me about you. Are you Tom's girlfriend? Yeah! We've been in a relationship for one month. So, sorry, I've not had much time to tell you. That's fine. I understand. Sorry, nice to meet you too. Tom, you should invite him to come inside. Oh, my bad. Come in, David. Everything is still in chaos, so sorry. Ah, uh, no worries. Uh, I need to come home now. This bouquet is to congratulate your new home. Thank you so much. Don't forget our party tomorrow. Sure. Asking questions in English. Question structure. Type of questions. 1. Yes, no questions. This type of question is usually the easiest to ask and answer in English. They're called yes-no questions because the answer to these questions is generally yes or no. How to form yes-no questions. The basic structure for yes-no questions looks like this. Auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb plus object or other information plus question mark. Examples of yes-no questions. Do you get her number? Are you looking for me? 2. WH questions. These are called WH questions because they usually start with a question word that begins with the letters WH. Sometimes they're also called open questions. That's because there are many more possible answers than just yes-no. How to form WH questions. If you understand how to form yes-no questions, then it's very easy to form WH questions. 
generally just add a question word or phrase to the beginning of a yes-no question. The structure of a WH question is usually like this. WH question, word or phrase, plus auxiliary verb, plus subject, plus main verb, plus object or other information, plus question mark. Examples. What are you doing? How can I help you? Why do you stop? Explaining errors at work. Dialogue 1. Failing to run a deadline. This is the fourth time this month you handed in your reports late. Sorry, boss. Any explanation to defend yourself? My wife and I are expecting a baby due next month. We're quite overwhelmed with the preparation for the baby. Wow, did you say next month? Yes. And you've just told me now. My wife didn't let me break the news to anyone but our family. She is afraid of bad luck. I get it. But under any circumstances, you should show me up to par working performance. Yes, this will never happen again. If you told me this good news sooner, I would have cut you some slack. Anyways, congrats. You'll be a great father, Jake. Thank you, boss. Dialogue 2. A block in communication flow at workplace. You want to talk about it, honey? I made a huge mistake today at work. I'm listening. I was supposed to forward an email to everyone, but I forgot to do it. <gasps> oh my god! Haven't you been introduced to our firm's newest policy about dress code? <gasps> I emphasize that our parent company was going to visit us today. How could a fashion company allow employees to wear casual clothes all the time? My apologies, Director. I'm handling so many tasks at the same time. I forgot to notify our staff about that amendment. There is a lot of work cut out for everyone. That is an unacceptable reason, Miss Irene. The parent company was very disappointed with our professionalism. And I'm very disappointed in you. Making Proposals Dialogue 1. Proposal Preparation What do you think we should start with? To me, the proposal is aimed to suggest an idea to clients or managers. So, why don't we kick it off by a statement of purpose? Agreed. But don't forget to introduce our team and provide background information. Yeah, right? After those parts, I think goals and objectives will follow. Yes, let's state very clearly that we need a higher budget for our sales plan. Our current plan gives us very few opportunities to approach the customers. More budget on advertising will draw more customers. Indeed. Then we'll wrap our proposal with a call to action. Noted. I'm having positive feelings about this. Don't set your hopes too high, Lena. Having confidence in what we're doing is right, but our boss has the right to accept or reject the proposed project too.
Dialogue two, presenting a proposal. So our main obstacle is the way we attract new customers. Believe it or not, our returned customer rate for services we provide is high, skyrocketing. But the rate of new customers shows very poor performance. We've analyzed and concluded that marketing is the key to our problem. What kind of marketing strategy will you focus on? We chose digital advertising, boss. Please take a closer look at the detailed fund that we need for this project. I can see that your proposal was prepared by our instructions. We, as sponsors of this sale plan, are looking forward to yielding good results. Yes, our plan will surely come to fruition. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Congrats on your successful fundraising. Daily English speaking practice. Go shopping. Hi, Jessica. Are you all right? Hi, Jane. I'm good. Are you here shopping for school supplies for the new semester? Yes, I am. You too? Yeah, I'm just shopping around to see what I should buy. Do you see anything interesting? They have calendar planners over there, which I find very helpful and extremely cute. Really? I will take a look. I saw you got something in your basket already. What is that? Ah,、uh, just stationary storage and some notebooks. Oh, thanks for reminding me. I need to buy notebooks too. Okay, go get your stuff. I think I will see you around a bit more than leave. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Express an opinion. Bella, what are you doing? I'm vacuuming the hallway. Is it dirty? Yeah, but it seems like no one cares. Hmm. To be honest, I recommend we should have a cleaning schedule for everyone to be in charge of. Great idea. We need to discuss it with everyone first. Sure. Let me ask them to gather at 9 p.m. Okay? Great. Ah,、uh, I have to go out now. Talk to you tonight then. Goodbye. Make a suggestion. Jack, I will have a date this weekend, but we haven't decided where to meet up. Do you have any suggestions? I know a restaurant which is an amazing place for couples. What is it? It's Steel Rose Restaurant. Have you heard of it? Is it the new restaurant on High Street? Yes, that one. Have you tried it? Yes, I went there last week. Is it a good one? I mean, food and price. Yeah, the price is a bit high to be honest, but the food is amazing, so it's worth it. Great, thanks. I'll try it. At the musical instrument store. How may I help you? Hi, I would like to buy a guitar. Is it for you or for someone else? Yes, for me. Okay, let's take a look at some of these guitars. Do you have any suggestions? Do you buy it for learning how to play? Yes. Okay, these guitars have a suitable size for you. Which one do you like? This one looks elegant. Can I try it? Of course. I like the sound of this guitar the most. I may buy it. 
great choice. Dimension and size. Joe, I'm talking to the guy to order a customized wardrobe. He is asking about the dimension. Ah,、uh, okay. Tell him it's 46 inches by 71 inches by 19 inches. Okay, then we have to choose a style. He sent me a catalog. I think it's better to go to his place and see the real models. True. Let me tell him. But when will you have free time? We can go today. I also need to go to a Nike store near his place to buy shoes. Why don't you go to the one near our house? They ran out of size nine for the ones I like. Okay. Holidays. Christmas is coming. I can't wait to go back home and visit my parents. How often do you visit them? Only when it's a long holiday. Maybe three times a year. How about other holidays? If I have one or two days off, I will travel or go camping with my friends. How about you? I prefer to stay at home and watch movies. Enjoy my time being alone. Don't you feel lonely? No, I really enjoy those moments. But of course, sometimes I hang out with my friends too. Future perfect tense. The future perfect is a verb form or construction used to describe an event that is expected or planned to happen before a time of reference in the future. Let's watch the following video to learn more about how to use the perfect future tense. Situation one: Group assignment. Hey, Jenny, Alex, Jack. Let's stay for a while to have a group meeting. Sure. I think the topic the teacher gave us is so difficult. Yeah, I think so. Um, quite hard. We need to discuss this carefully. It accounts for twenty percent of our marks this term. Our teacher said that we have to make a short video about the effects of COVID nineteen on people's lives. This topic requires a lot of knowledge about reality from us. Do you guys have any ideas? It's a wide range of aspects we can do, I guess. For example, education, medical, culture. Oh, so many. What about others? Well, I think so too. Ah,、oh, why don't we gather all the ideas from members and choose the best one? Because I think everyone has their own thought and idea. Good idea. So, can you create a file and share it for everyone to write the ideas in it, Alex? Of course. I have a laptop here. I'll do it right now. Okay, cool. We will have filled the ideas in the file by 10 a.m. tomorrow. We should think about the best and easiest idea to make it as convenient as possible when recording the video. Are you okay? Um, too early. We won't have completed it in a short time. Okay. How about 12 a.m.? Is this enough? Good. It's enough time, and then we give each person a share to do. For instance, general introduction, influence, and some adaptation solutions. The video editing part is also quite urgent. I can take charge of editing. Very cool. So we will have finished this task by 8 p.m. tomorrow. That's right. Then it's time to roll up our sleeves and get the video done. Great! 
The location of the video will have been chosen by 12 a.m. the day after tomorrow. That's a great timeline. I totally agree. That's good. Situation 2. Tomorrow presentation. <laughs> Tomorrow is the project presentation day for the partner company. This is really important, so we must not make any mistakes. We all know that, so we are prepared carefully. Don't worry. Okay, good. Ah, I have just read again the report you sent me yesterday. Overall, I think it is quite good, full of content. But I think there are still some small mistakes. <gasps> oh god, I'm sorry. Well, I've commented. Check it please. And you have to edit as I suggested. Double check it a few more times to make sure there aren't any more mistakes. You will have finished this task by 5pm today. That means before work. Yes, I remember that. Cool. How about the preparation? I need everything to be perfect. Yes. I have prepared all. Cleaning the meeting room, preparing water, checking electricity, projectors, tables, and chairs. What time will you be here tomorrow? Because I'm in charge of preparing and the meeting will begin at 9.30, I will have been here by 8 a.m. Yes, good. You should come here early. I will check again about the machines, speakers, screens. Do not worry. I will try to make everything perfect as you expect. Very good. <laughs> Situation 3. I will have made the meal. Hey, Jenny. You look so tired. How's it going? Well, to be honest, not good. I feel exhausted because of the workload. At the same time, I have to complete the project in Paris and deal with a new project. <sighs> Poor you. You should take some rest today and pay more attention to your health. Would you like to come to my home and have dinner? Of course, but I don't have time today. You can come anytime you want. Weekday or weekend is still okay. Just spend one day and chill. Share with me everything that makes you tired. You may be more comfortable after that. Thank you so much. I'll show you my talent in cooking that day. You'll be surprised. Are you free on the weekend? Saturday and Sunday this week, I will have been in a meeting in Paris. Oh, Friday? Actually, Friday evening I will be free, but I'll be home late from work. I need to prepare something for the meeting the next day. I won't be able to help you prepare dinner. Don't worry about those things. I said I would show off my cooking skills. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, but trust me. But I feel so shy. Hey. You can wash the dishes. I will have made the meal ready before the time you come back from work. Situation 4 When will he have done the deadline? Hey Alex, how are you? I'm good because I have finished my part of our project this morning. Now I'm free. How about you? 
Yes, yesterday I finished it. Indeed, finishing the tasks makes me feel over the moon. Yes, I agree with you. I wonder if Jack and Lucy have finished the lesson yet. I haven't checked my messages since I posted my part to the group this morning, so I don't know if they're done or not. Well, Lucy is already done after you about one hour, and I don't know what Jack is doing. Who knows? The deadline is 12 p.m. tomorrow, right? That's right. He will not have done this before tomorrow afternoon, I'm sure. Oh my god, why? You don't know because this is your first time you worked with a team with him. Everyone knows he is the person who does every task at the last minute. Ah, uh, no, not that, but nearly the deadline. Why? Is he always busy? No, even if he doesn't do anything, there is a lot of time, but he still doesn't do it. I don't know why. Maybe it is his habit. Oh, I think it's a bad habit, especially when working in a team. This habit will affect other members. He should do it before the deadline a bit to check in again with others. Yes, I told him many times before, he said, I know, I know, I will change, and nothing changes. <laughs> Are you sure he will have finished it? Yes, he will have started to do it by the afternoon tomorrow. He never misses any deadlines. Okay, I hope so. Perhaps the next time I will set the deadline earlier. Say thanks and sorry. Excuse me? Hi, may I help you? Hi, could you show me the way to the British Museum, please? You go straight, turn left on the second alley, then turn right again. Go straight around 15 meters and it will be on your left side. Sorry, can you repeat? You go straight, turn left on the second alley, then turn right again, go straight around 50 meters, and it will be on your left side. Okay, oh I got it. Thanks a lot for your help. Not at all. Have a nice day. You too. Being sick. Betty, are you okay? I'm not feeling well. How do you feel? My head is spinning and I want to throw up. Laying down, you may catch a cold. Yeah, I got wet a bit when it suddenly rained. Do you think you need medicine? Mm, let me rest a little first. Okay, tell me if you feel too tired, okay? Okay, thanks for caring for me. You are welcome. At the perfume store. Hi, how may I help you? Hi, I want to buy perfume as a gift. May I ask who you will give it to? I want to give it to my girlfriend on her birthday. Okay, please try this perfume. Great smell. Yeah. This is our new release, very suitable for young women and smell cool for summertime. Is there any other perfume? Yes, please try these. They all smell great, but I prefer the first one. I will take it. Thank you very much. Please bring this bottle to the payment counter. Go abroad. Julia, why do you look so happy? I will travel to Paris next week. This is the first time I go abroad. 
Wow, great! Will you go with your family? Yes, I will! Have you ever traveled abroad? Yes, I traveled abroad with my parents three years ago. That was also my first time. Lucky you! I feel so excited! I may learn some French! <laughs> nice idea! Learning French will be helpful, definitely! In a taxi Good morning! Where do you want to go? Good morning! I want to go to the train station. Let me put your luggage in the trunk. Okay, thank you. Please fasten your seatbelt. Okay. How long does it take to arrive at the train station? Around 15 minutes. Are you in a hurry? Yes, I'm in a bit hurry. What time is your train? It's 10 a.m. I will try my best, but I think you will be on time. Don't worry. Thank you. We arrived at the train station. How much is it? Twelve dollars, please. Here you are. Keep the change. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Welcome. Hi everyone, I'm Cryo. I will live in here from now on. Hi Cryo, I'm Jason. Hey, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Josh. Welcome home. Thanks everyone. Where are you from? I'm from Switzerland. Are you a freshman? Yes, and you all? We are second year students. Oh really? I will need your experience. Hope you will help me. Sure. Let's hang out tonight to get to know more about each other, okay? Yes. Uh, let me take my stuff to my room, and we can go. Okay. We will wait for you here. Got it! In the drugstore. In the drugstore, we buy a lot of things, from daily necessities to medicines for certain diseases. Watch the video and see what people buy at the drugstore. Situation 1. Another drug. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. I have a prescription from Dr. Alex about my headache. Please give me the drug for it. Okay, let me see it. Here it is. Okay, wait for some minutes. I will take them for you. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, Mary. Sorry, but our pharmacy doesn't have bag-type headache medicine as your doctor prescribes. We ran out of it for three days. We only have two out of three that the doctor prescribed. What a pity! Yes, sorry about that, but you can have another type. What is that? These days, people prefer a headache paste to a pill. Headache paste is more convenient for you. Is that as effective as pills? Of course. They are the same function. They also have similar headache treatment ingredients. They are different only in the form of use, patches and pills. Sounds good. But does it work when I use it with two other drugs? No problem. I am sure it is no different with the doctor's prescription. If you ask your doctor about this, he will agree with me too. I guarantee. Okay, take it for me. And can you tell me how I should use it? Yes, very easy. You don't have to pay attention to use it on time. Whenever you have a headache, cut and stick a small patch on your temple area. It can reduce the pain. Thank you so much! Please put them in the bag for me. How much is this? Nine dollars, please. Here you go. Have a nice day. You too. Situation 2. Buy things at a drugstore.
Hello, how can I help you? Hello, I need some small stuff. Yes, what are they? I can take them for you. First, I need a bottle of shampoo. Do you need a large or mini size? I think a small size is enough. I just use it during my trip for one week. Okay, what else? A toothbrush. What color? Pink, please. No, give me two. Pink and black, please. I buy them for my husband. Okay, what about toothpaste? No, I don't need it. At home, I still have small tubes of toothpaste. They are a bonus when I buy the larger one. They're useful now. Is there anything else you need? Let me think. I need to prepare a lot of things for the trip. Ah, give me a pair of face towels. Okay, and you can also use cotton pads. They are more convenient to carry and use when traveling. That sounds good, so I'll take them. What kind do you want? 120 pieces a bag or bigger? Um, bigger please. If I don't use it up during the trip, I can take it home and use it. Good idea. Is there anything else? No, that will be all. Thank you so much. How much are they? Your bill is $20. Here it is. Thanks. Thank you. Situation 3. Drugs for cough and runny nose. <coughs> Hey Mary, what's wrong? You look tired. Are you under the weather? Hi Jack, I feel sick. I think I have a cold. What are your symptoms? Cough and <coughs> runny nose. Yesterday I just woke up and I had a frog in my throat. <coughs> That's awful. You should buy drugs to end this immediately. Yes, you're right. Hi, how can I help you? Yes, I think I have a cold. I've been suffering a cough and runny nose for two days. Have you had a fever? Actually, no. My temperature is stable. Do you think I caught a cold due to the change in weather? I think so. A lot of people also came to buy medicine today because of a cold. Yes, weather like this makes people so tired. Okay, I see. You should use cough syrup. You will need to drink this three times a day within one hour before or after the meal. For three to four days, your cough will be treated. Hey, how about the runny nose? Yes, I suggest you should use flu medicine. It relieves symptoms, including cough and runny nose. Good, but is there anything I need to notice about when taking these drugs? Yes, you need to carefully check the drug's content to know if it contains any chemical substance that's you're allergic to. Okay, anything else? Well, you also need to remember to take drugs regularly or else its function will not be as effective as it should be. Twice a day, after lunch and dinner. Does it have any side effects? I think it can make you a bit sleepy. Okay, no problem. If you have a fever, come back to me and take fever tablets. Okay, I'll remember. Thanks. You're welcome. Situation 4. Drugs for diarrhea and vomiting. <laughs> Pharmacist, you look so tired. What is the matter? Well, I have been suffering from diarrhea and vomiting about three hours ago. I feel so exhausted because of this. I just walked some steps and was ready to drop. Have you eaten anything strange before? Yes, I ate some chocolate in the morning. Okay, I see. These symptoms seem to be very serious. You may have food poisoning or some digestive problems. That's bad. So what should I do to end this? Based on your symptoms, 
I will write a prescription for you. You need to take these anti-diarrhea drugs twice a day before lunch and dinner. It will cure diarrhea and you will feel better. Also, you need to stick with soft food such as porridge, noodles, cereal, and especially drinking water for rehydration. Okay, I'll remember. But how do I deal with the vomiting? In order to cure the vomiting, you will need to eat the food as I mentioned before, and also stay away from fried or sweets, because they can make your symptoms worse. Does it have any side effects on my stomach? I have a stomach ache. Don't worry about that, it is safe for use. Okay, I see. And you should pay more attention to your eating habits. You should not eat strange foods because they may not be suitable for your body. You may be poisoned. Of course! Thanks for your useful advice. Family and Relatives Vocabulary What's for dinner tonight? Tonight we will have spicy chicken and salmon salad. Wow, so yummy! Alright, sit down everybody, dinner's ready. This food is really good! Thank you. This afternoon I went to the supermarket and I also bought ice cream. Ice cream? Yes, that's right. What flavor of ice cream did you buy? I bought chocolate flavored. Oh my gosh, I love it, Mommy! After eating dinner, we will eat ice cream. Okay! Here's your ice cream. Wow, thank you. So, how was your day at the office, dear? It was the same as usual. You seem different today. Everything all right? Yes, dear. Everything is fine. I just had a busy day at the office. Okay. How about you? How was your day? Did you do anything interesting today? Oh, I learned a new recipe on the internet today. I am thinking of trying it for dinner tomorrow. Interesting. What is that recipe? Grilled chicken. That is wonderful, dear. Can't wait to try it out. Who comes at this time? I do not know. Let me open the door. Okay. Wendy? Good evening, Helen. Good evening, Auntie Helen. Why are you and Kevin here with the luggage? What happened? I argued with Tim. Arguing with my brother-in-law? Then you've been running away from home? Yeah, right. Oh, Wendy, you are acting like a child. I and Tim had a big argument. I'm very angry. Can I stay for a few days? Ugh, come on in. Give me the suitcase. Thanks, Helen. Now, tell me the details. Tim and I argued because Tim does not spend enough time with me these days. What do you mean? Tim is too focused on work and doesn't spend time with me and my son. So, what did he say? He said he was very busy and when he got home he was exhausted. All he thinks about is work. So, you decided to run here? Yeah. I want him to come here and beg me to come home. How long are you going to stay here? I want to stay for two weeks. Is that okay? Okay. Helen, come with me. I want to tell you something. What's the matter, honey? Why did you let your sister stay here? She had no place to stay. You know, she and I don't get along. She is so... You know. 
Yes, I know, dear. I know she is so fastidious and difficult to please. Even our nephew is so naughty. Our house will become a mess. Come on, John. She needs our help. Who knows when she will leave? Just two weeks. Or even less. Maybe we can call Tim to come pick her up after a few days. But all the inconvenience... Ugh, I really don't want to. Come on, John. Just this once. Let her stay here for a few days. Alright. But they better not make any mess here. Give me the toys. No, I'm playing with them. Give it to me. I want to play it too. No, I won't. <gasps> Steven, are you okay? Yes, Daddy. Are you hurt? No, Daddy. Kevin, what are you doing? He's your cousin. Why did you do that? Steven didn't give me the toys. Those are Steven's toys. You are so naughty. Mommy! Mommy! <coughs> Kevin, why are you crying? Uncle John scolded me! Why did you scold your nephew? Kevin took the toy and shoved Steven. The kids were just joking around. No. I saw Kevin shove my son down with my own eyes. But you can't scold Kevin for that. You're scaring your nephew. Calm down. Calm down. Why, Quirrell? We are parents. Don't argue in front of the kids. Your husband scolded my son. Your husband started it. You. Calm down, John. And Wendy? You and Kevin go to your room. Good morning, Mommy. Good morning, dear. Good morning, everybody. Sit down and eat breakfast. What did you make? All I make is oatmeal toast and some orange juice. That sounds nice. I like it. Are Kevin and Steven at home today? Yes, Uncle John. You both remember to get along, okay? Yes, I remember. And remember not to touch the computer in the reading room. I'm loading a very important document there. Yes. Kevin, Steven, you guys go play in the backyard. I will be using the computer in the reading room, okay? Mommy? Yes, I am here. We are hungry. What will we eat? We're going to out to eat. KFC. Yeah, that's great! Steven, do you like it? Yes. My mother never let me eat fast food. All right, wait for me and we'll go. John, why do you look so angry? Who used the computer today? I don't know. Steven, did you use the computer? No, Daddy. Today, I and Kevin went out to play. So, Wendy, did you use and shut down the computer? No, I didn't. Really? Yeah. Wendy, this morning Kevin and Steven went out. My wife went to work and only you at home. Okay. Okay, that's right. I turned it off. But it was just by accident. Why did you turn off the computer? I told you not to turn off my computer. I forgot. I'm sorry, okay? You were always causing trouble. I said that document is very important to me. You come here and mess things up. 
Relax. You can download that document again. It's no big deal. Wendy! John, control yourself. Before we can debate this matter, you're all gonna have to chill out. John, please come with me. Keep calm and relax tension. She must have forgotten, so she turned off the computer. She always annoys me. She's only been here for a few days. Don't be such a pettiness. I'm petty? She's just my sister-in-law, not my mom. John. The house turned upside down when she and her son arrived. She was so lazy, messy, and also very noisy. I'm wondering why your brother-in-law can stand her. If I were him, I'd be divorced. Pay attention to your words. You are losing control. Do you know what you just said? She is leaving today. Stop. John, your words make me unbearable. Why can you say those words? She is my sister. Now you're on her side? I'm not defending anyone. But you are making a fuss. You're so selfish. I can't stand this anymore. I'm leaving. I won't be back till she leaves. Fine. Helen, did John call you? He didn't text or call me. I'm sorry. It's okay. I have thought carefully. I'm the one to blame, and I will make peace with my husband. That's good. I'm extremely sorry for upsetting John. Don't worry. He's just angry, and he calms down. He will return home. I think you should take the initiative to make peace with him. Let's go find him right now. Yeah, you're right. I will go find him. We should go together. I want to say sorry, too. Oh, you don't have to if you don't want. Come on, it was because of me that you had an argument. Okay, Wendy. We will go to talk to Tim first, and then we go to find John. What do you say? That sounds pretty good. Let's go. Should we take the kids with us? Take Kevin and Steven to our grandparents' house. They also miss their children very much. Great idea. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. Woohoo! What's that sound? I don't know. Why is it so loud in here? Who's in there with Tim? Oh no. Wendy? Wendy, don't rush in. <gasps> oh, you're back. Sean, why are you here? What is all this about? We are watching baseball together. That's right! John came here two days ago and we had a talk. After that, we decided to stay together for a few days. By the way, do you want to be angry for another week or two? Right! The baseball league has only just begun! Topic What should we not eat? Present simple tense the present simple tense is the most basic tense in English and uses the base form of the verb. Let's watch this video and learn about the present simple together. Hey John, it's noon, time for lunch. Ugh. This report made me forget that it's noon now. What are you going to have for lunch? I have no idea. Hello guys! Let's have lunch together. What are you guys going to have for lunch? Linda and I will have Chinese food for lunch. Chinese food? That sounds delicious! I really like Chinese food. Me too. It suits my taste. Do you want to eat with us? Yes, I do. 
Would you like to join us, John? Ah, thank you. I prepared lunch this morning before leaving home. He prepares lunch and brings it to the company every day. Wow, you are so diligent. What do you have for lunch today? Today, I have baked ribs. Wow, it looks yummy. And I have the cream of mushroom soup. Do you smell anything? <laughs> yes, I do. The soup has a rancid smell. What? It's boiled. Why is it rancid? I plan to put it in the fridge and reheat it when I eat it. But I forgot to put it in the fridge. Don't eat it. It's not good for your stomach. Yes, it may lead to digestive issues. You may have diarrhea. That's a bad thing. I don't eat this soup. Would you like to eat Chinese food with us? Nah, I still have baked ribs. You will be hungry if you just eat that. It's okay. Okay, see you. John, would you like to have coffee with us? I'm afraid I can't. Why? I'm busy now. You work hard, but you also need a rest. Actually, I'm planning to propose to my girlfriend tonight. You know, it's so many things to do. Really? Yes, I'm so nervous. It's so romantic. Good luck to you. Best of luck. Good luck with that. Thank you. Oh, my stomach is growling. Should I eat it? Maybe it'll be fine if I reheat it. Oh no, my belly. You must be Johnson Cohen? Please, call me John. You must be Mr. Andrew? Yes, sorry John, I'm late. Never mind, sit down. Would you like something to drink? Yes, some coffee would be nice. Waitress? A cup of coffee, please? Yes, sir. How long have you worked at Clinton Company? About four years, sir. How do you like it? It's a good job, and the products that I sell to you are also very good. Great. I hear that your company is very large. Yes, it's an international company. It has customers in more than seven countries. That's amazing. Oh no, my stomach again. Can we start? Wait a minute, sir. I'll see if your coffee is ready. No, it's okay. A big deal needs a coffee. Okay. I had my coffee, and where were you? Sorry, sir. We can start now. Okay. I don't have much time. What is this page about? It is about our product list. And how about this page? This page lists all of the advantages your company will receive when you use our products. Great. Please, not now. Please, tell me more details. Sure, sir. I can't stand it. Sorry, sir. I'll be back in a minute. Sorry, sir. I don't have much time. Please, hurry up. Sure. 
This page is a report about the new high technology that we use to research and develop our products. Good. And I... Are you okay? I'm so sorry. My stomach is uncomfortable. Okay. I think we should talk later and you should go to see the doctor now. John, where are you? What did you do? Andrew called me and complained a lot. I'm so sorry. He's a big and potential customer. Come back here, now. Yes. Just wait here a moment, Judy. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Do you remember the first time we met? How can I forget? Yes, at that time I was like an idiot. I was so nervous when I asked for your phone number. No, it's cute. Do you remember our first date? Yes. You put salt in your coffee instead of sugar. <laughs> and on a trip to Hawaii, we danced with the locals together. Let's go there again when we have free time. Yeah. It's nice to talk to you like this. We rarely see each other these days. I'm so sorry. I've been very busy with work lately. No, it's okay. I can understand. Thank you, Judy. Oh no, I think it's coming again. Shall we order? Just wait a moment. I'll be back right away. Something's wrong? No, don't worry. I shouldn't have eaten that soup. It was rancid. Is Judy as mad at me as Mr. Andrew is? Oh, my belly. What's wrong with him? Hello. I will be your waitress today. Are you ready to order now? I will wait until my friend comes back. Yes, sure. I'm always ready whenever you need me. Thank you. Thirty minutes later. Where is he? Hey, look at the girl over there. She looks so beautiful. I know, but she booked a large dining table, sat there for more than 30 minutes and still did not order. Can I get you any drinks while you are waiting? Thank you, but I will wait for him to come back. Sure. She's trying to call someone. Poor beautiful girl. <gasps> Be quiet. Judy? May I help you, sir? Do you know where the girl sitting here is? I don't know. I asked her if she wanted to order and she said to wait for someone to come back. And then she went somewhere. Is it you? Yes, it's me. I booked this table in preparation to propose to her. She has been waiting for you for a long time. Where is she? Sorry, but I don't know. <gasps> Where 
are you? Why not answer the phone? Why make me wait so long? I'm gone. Don't look for me. I'll never eat rancid food again. Yes, you shouldn't eat it. Judy? Here you are. What is it? It helps reduce diarrhea. How do you know? As I was leaving angrily, I went to the WC. I saw you touching your belly and running into the WC, so... I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. It's okay. You are the reason for whom my heart beat. You were everything to me. Judy, will you marry me? Yes, I do. Judy, sorry, but I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, come back soon. Usage of the present simple tense We use the present simple tense to talk about general facts that we think are true and permanent at the present time, or to talk about regular or habitual events. Structure of the present simple tense A. Simple present tense with B 1. Positive form S plus am is are I am, you, we, they, are, he, she, it, is. Example, it's noon, I'm busy now, my stomach is uncomfortable, you are so diligent. 2. Negative form, s plus am not, is not, isn't, you're not, are not, aren't. Example, it's not good for your stomach. 3. Yes, no question form. Am, is, are, plus, s. Answer, yes, s plus am is are, and no, s plus am is are, plus not. Example, is it you? Yes, it's me. Are you okay? 4. What question form. What question plus am, is, are, plus s. What question. Where, who, what, why, when, how. Example. What is this page about? It is about our product list. John, where are you? Where is he? What is it? Present simple tense with other verbs. Verb, positive form, S plus verb. I, you, we, they, verb, infinitive. He, she, it, verb, add S or ES. Example. It suits my taste. He prepares lunch and brings it to the company every day. Today, I have baked ribs. You work hard, but you also need rest. Verbs that end in Y often change Y to IE before S. Study. Studies. Try. Tries. Fly. Flies. Note. If the ending is AY, EY, OY, UY, no change, add S. Play, plays, say, says, buy, buys, enjoy, enjoys, stay, stays. Verbs that end in S, SH, CH, or X. Pass, passes, watch, watches, teach. Teaches. A few irregular verbs. Have. Has. Do. 
does, go, goes. Other verbs. Verb add s. 2. Negative form. s plus do not, don't, does not, doesn't. I, you, we, they, don't, do not. He, she, it, doesn't, does not. Example. I don't eat the soup. I don't have much time. Please, hurry up. 3. Yes, no question form. Do, does, plus s, plus verb infinitive. Answer. Yes. S plus do does and no. S plus do does plus not. Example. Do you want to eat with us? Yes, I do. Do you remember the first time we met? Do you smell anything? Yes, I do. The soup has a rancid smell. 4. What question form? What question? plus do does, plus s, plus verb infinitive. What question? Where, who, what, why, when, how. Example. What do you have for lunch today? How do you like it?